I mean, it could have easily been me. You get caught up in this, this snowball of, of, of doing something like this. I don't think they really thought about the consequences of it. Getting caught, what would it look like? I, it, I don't think they ever thought it would look like seven years in prison. This would be something dangerous and very exciting. crazy how, how, how bored you can get and the stupidity that you can get involved in in, in the suburbs. I, I understood that in a way when I read it and I was like, I could have totally done this. And that's what made it that much scarier is that, you know, these guys did this thing and then it ended up this way. It's sad talking to them because I really see, you know, my friends and my brother's friends, you know, just these normal cool guys who are friendly and funny and smart and literate and just overall nice people who just did something stupid. My life, this isn't some game. Bart didn't want us to talk to the real guys because uh, he didn't want it to color our performance. I, I just wanted to hang out with him and get to know him and he seemed like a fun guy to be around and, and I could pick up a little bit on his personality and sort of incorporate that into the film. So I broke the rules and I found him through Twitter and I uh, talked to him and, uh, and we emailed and Skyped and then all of a sudden that was cut down as well by Bart. It's a horrific picture of this little sad monkey trapped in a cage. And and that's kind of to me what, what you know, it, it felt like to be Warren. And I mean, looking on the outside, it's like, hey, dude, you have everything in front of you. What's wrong with you? But being inside of it, and I think what Warren was going through and Warren was feeling at the time was, was, was similar to that. And I think he wanted to break out and, and be free of all of the, the, the expectations and the pressures that are put on. I had this idea to become an actor at 15, and I didn't think about the consequences or what that meant, or, or you know, leaving St. Louis or my family or any of that stuff. That was kind of this impulsive desire to do this thing that was different than what everybody else was doing, and it seemed really exciting. I get pretty frustrated and angry about things, and it, and it kind of, uh, I'm not like that in my real life. I, I, I hate that, I hate yelling, I hate anger. I'm totally non-confrontational. I cower away, I run away. Uh, so I think <laughs> it all builds up. I think it's like that uh, anger management with, with Adam Sandler, you know? It's like it just keeps building up and building up, and then, and then I just kind of let it all out, everything that's been upsetting me or frustrating me, and uh, I just kind of use it. It's a cathartic experience for me.